राज्यपाल शक्ति बुद्धिशक्त बड़ी साध्यवे राज्यपाल आदेश प्रति नोड़े राज्यपाल बुद्धिशक्ति बड़ी राज्यपाल पूर्वग्रह वाद राज्यपाल बुद्धिशक्ति बड़ी Exactly. Now this aspect of the matter, I only wanted to point out your lordship that particular fact which your lordship has not seen. This aspect of the matter, my lord, was looked at again by another coordinate bench of this court. Yes, when it came again, yes, there, there it is held that it stands on a different footing. Yes, yes, yes. Because it was nineteen then. No, 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 no. It is not nineteen. No, no, no. Ado seventeen yen. Matte. How? How? Do? Ila. Tau. Kalsid mele thirga order mar dero. अशोक But thirty-one uh, is what is said. Lord, what is relevant to Lord actually is para thirty-nine to forty-nine. All right. But please see para thirty-three for a minute. Yes, sir. At page five one six, section seventeen A of the Act is drafted with the overarching objective of ensuring that unnecessary investigations against public servants are prevented, and the state government is required to take a decision to accord or refuse approval to conduct an investigation within a time frame. This indicates the balance that the law intended to strike in the manner of an investigation being conducted against a public servant. Now, my lord, please be kind enough to turn to paragraph number thirty-six. I am going to skip thirty-four and thirty-five. At this stage, the stark and striking difference. No, oh, there it was again elaborate. That's why forty-nine, my order is quoted. Fifty-one, it is said it is uh, it bears application of mine dismissed. In, in fact, your lordship's order is quoted, and my lord, the learned judge holds because of that. Kunan Kushavagi Parishad Lagi there was the only ground. But then, my lord. The law is ex explained further. Now, my lord, just look at para forty. I'm going to skip a few paragraphs, my lord, though I thought it's relevant. But summar summary is there. To summarize, the law has conferred a twofold protection vis-a-vis -a, -vis a public servant for offences under the Act. The first layer of protection is even before an investigation is conducted, where a prior approval is needed under Section 17A of the Act. The second layer of protection is after completion of investigation, where sanction. to prosecute the public servant he is required under section 19 it is clear from the statutory framework the legislature has decided to not only protect public servants from unwanted investigation but also from a prosecution by making it mandatory for the investigating officer to obtain two different and separate approvals for investigation and for prosecution it should also not be forgotten that merely because an approval is accorded to conduct an investigation investigating officer cannot proceed to prosecute the public servant and he is still required to obtain prior sanction of the government to prosecute the public servant under section 19 then my lord you are also may kindly turn to paragraph number 47 caesar's wife my lord must yeah, be above suspicion yes and now my lord then let us after those after those few lines the integrity of a public servant is required to be beyond suspicion as in the proverbial adage the caesar's wife must be above suspicion if there exists even a shadow of doubt on the integrity of the public servant it will not only harm his reputation but it will also tarnish the entire system of which he is a part thus in such a situation if the aspersions cast on the integrity of a public servant and an investigating officer under the act harbors a view that an investigation necessary it would be in the interest of both the government and the public servant that such a nagging suspicion is obliterated so my lord the word emphasizes nagging suspicion is it there or not in this case that's all the inquiry some element of discomfort is enough unless you are not nothing i'm so comfortable with what's happened lurking suspicion lurking suspicion is a nagging suspicion nagging anyway my lord that's the wording that is also used now in order to achieve this objective therefore the government should be given the greatest degree of latitude to accord 
approval for conducting investigation. So this is the approach. This is what I mentioned to you a lot at the beginning of my submission. Approach must be, if there is some suspicion, allow, allow the investigation to take place. Do not scuttle it at the very start. <clears throat> then, Murad, the contention, therefore, that the material furnished by the investigating officer is required to be subjected to a microscopic examination before according approval to investigate a public servant, as suggested by learned senior counsel appearing for the petitioner, does not merit acceptance. As stated earlier, before seeking approval under 17A of the Act, the investigating officer would only have to form a tentative opinion to determine as to whether investigation is warranted or not, having regard to the material credible information in his position at that point of time. It may so happen that after conducting an investigation, investigating officer may very well come to the conclusion that there is no justification for initiating prosecution and, the, and may drop such proceeding against the public servant. Thus, the mere grant of approval to conduct investigation would not lead to an inference that the investigation would necessarily culminate in a prosecution against the public servant. And then, my lord, the judgment of this honorable court in Ashok's case is cited. And this earlier uh, Sri Rupa's case. The argument that the materials collected have to be considered meticulously, as indicated by this court in WP number so and so, cannot be accepted for the reason that in the said rate petition, the court was considering an order of approval in that case, where the order of approval merely stated that the government had meticulously considered the matter by use of the term Pulankashavagi Parishadisaragi. The relevant portion of the order reads as follows, my notice. Then, my notice, paragraph 52. In my view, this indicates that the state has applied its mind to the request made by the investigating officer and has considered the matter rationally before according its approval to investigate the petitioner and another. In the light of the distinguishing feature, the decision relied upon the learned counsel for the petitioner in WP number so and so in support that cannot be of any. So, the governor has applied his mind. In my this. You want they, yes, yes. You want to the, paraphrase that yes. Yes, uh, this governor is, is applied. Yes, correct. Mind. Yeah, absolutely, Murad. That that's and I want to show you a lot. I, I wanted to show you a lot which I believe I have done to say what was the basis on which your lordship's judgment in that so case that's was made. I'm aware. That's yes. all. That's all, Murad. And I wanted to show you a lordship that this is the, and there's another view that has been taken by the this honourable court, another uh, coordinate bench. Your lordship may kindly see, Murad. Though it arises under 156.3, please see, my lord, page 522. Well, I'll kindly turn to paragraph number 48 at 536. Ah, yes, this saves. But these, these judgments support the proposition that I'm placing for your lordship's consideration. That it should be looked at in a very broad manner. Especially having regard to those words relatable to and not commission of or recommendation by those words are not there. It is relatable to. In the context of a contractual clause, the Honorable Supreme Court has held, my lord, that these words relating to, in regard to, in relation to, are words of widest amplitude. Is it General Electric. Though, my lord, it arose in the context of the interpretation of a contractual clause, I would say, my lord, the same principle applies when your lordships are interpreting this. My lord, please be kind enough to turn to paragraph 25 of the judgment of the Honorable Supreme Court, my lord, in Renu Saga. You want term relatable. Yes. yes. What is the meaning of these words relatable? How do you understand it? What is so special in law when you use this word relatable? Paragraph. My lord, paragraph 25. Prakarana da Kuritagi, Sarkara da Nadayana, Nyaya Lia the Gamuna Ketartai Dare, KG Raghavan. What are Akramagada Tanike and Ta Hela Raito, Adre E. Prakarana Bana Sidrama Yavara Patnige Nidida, Hadinala Kusai to Gada Prakarana Bana, other in the Horage Idalaito, either Nakurna Gamuna Ketartai Dare, the Rajotege. Sanna on the Samshi Wukura, Janara Nambiki and Alugadi Sate Anta KG Raghuvan Atama Wada Mandas Taida High Court Ninda Nera Prasara the Linivanur Taidira Snehamai Krishna Paravagi KG Raghuvan Wada Mandaniak Tai
ಸ್ನೇಹಮಯಿ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪರವಾಗಿ ಕೆಜಿ ರಾಘವನ್ ವಾದ ಮಂಡನೆ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದು ಜನಸೇವಕ ತಪ್ಪು ಮಾಡಿದ್ದು ತನಿಖೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಸಾಬೀತಾದರೆ ಕಲಂ ಹತ್ತೊಂಬತ್ತರ ಅಡಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಅನುಮತಿಯನ್ನ ಕೇಳಬೇಕು ತನಿಖಾಧಿಕಾರಿಗೆ ಕೇಸ್ ಏನು ಅನ್ನೋದರ ಅಂದಾಜಿರಬೇಕು ಇದರ ಜೊತೆಗೆ ಮೂಡ ಪ್ರಕರಣದ ಹದಿನಾಲ್ಕು ಸೈಟುಗಳ ವಿಷಯದಲ್ಲಿ ಸರ್ಕಾರ ನಡೆದುಕೊಂಡ ರೀತಿಯನ್ನ ನ್ಯಾಯಾಲಯದ ಮುಂದೆ ಕೆಜಿ ರಾಘವನ್ ತರ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ powers of the government and then your lordship gets unto less case my lord huh. unto less case my lord seems to suggest that the power of the court under 156.3 is not trampled by 17a uh, though 17a was not there in that time not there. I, 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 the, the old provision my lord they were considering that 17 years not a 17 no, no, 17 is 2018 okay, what was considered was not even section 19 no. it was under the old, old act, act what was sanctioned in that is abdul rahman and this case yes. so even there the question will not i am is as to whether the power of the court under 1563 is circumscribed by the requirement of a permission and the view as i understand in until this case my lord is that the power of the court is not taken away and i am given to understand my lord that that matter that question is pending before a larger bench in any event my lord that may be a little premature to be discussed in this proceeding today because we are looking at now my lord your lordship may kindly look at the what we have now placed for your lordship consideration my lord is section 17 a has been considered my lord in ashwan sinha's case the, that's the beginning that's the beginning the first judgment on 17 exactly we have put all that my lord for, so that is all in one place and then my lord there is another submission that i want to make yeah, yeah, yeah. well there are two situations one is absence of sanction the other my lord is invalidity of sanction now can the question of invalidity of sanction be taken up before the special court see that is that is one point where sanction is accorded invalidity of sanction or otherwise in normal circumstances now the issue is sanction is accorded by a constitutional authority that cannot be taken there therefore the validity of that sanction whether it bears application of mind it is needed or otherwise is only by this court that But, cannot the uh, court of session cannot sit and scrutinize what the governor has said whether he has applied his mind he has done that he has done this no this court is you know that distinction that your lordships are putting to me between a sanction that is accorded La, you must... you began you began the submission saying that it, this is governor sanction high functionary sanction yes. it is not like a tahsildar issuing yes. sanction the same thing applies here also now that submission was made but not in the context of the fact as to what is the extent of judicial examination examination See, that, that is why that purpose. the extent of examination if that is so that we are not examining the order of a tahsildar but we are examining the order of uh, the governor of the state sanctioning uh, Uh, sanctioning or approving whatever is to be done against the uh, chief minister of the state then it's not that the court will scrutinize whether governor has applied his mind or not we will it's constitutional court will do it i'm not saying the constitutional court cannot i'm, I'm, I'm that, saying is it there's the nothing that this court cannot exactly yes. there's nothing that this court cannot in See, fact any, not... anything this before this court is maintainable exactly. whether it is entertainable or that not that is the point is that is exactly what the honorable supreme court also has said about the recent judgment in yes. godrej sarali yes. supreme court say, has, has said the question when a writ petition is filed is not as to whether it is maintainable the Every question petition is, is maintainable whether, maintainable. whether it is entertainable exactly. or not exactly. it is the discretion exactly. of the court now in a situation of this kind now just look at what the honorable supreme court has said below in 2020 please be kind enough to turn to page 607 hmm. no it can be decided during the course of trial is what is that said is. yes now if in your minute validity in that judgment was quay the competent authority 
competent whether the competent authority had accorded sanction or not that can be decided there no problem here that is not the question of idu asia net news network prastuti ನೀವು ನೋಡ್ತಿದ್ದೀರಾ ಏಷ್ಯಾ ನೆಟ್ ಸುವರ್ಣ ನ್ಯೂಸ್